Alrighty guys, so in this video I want to do a little trade recap thingy for you guys. I know recently in the past like few weeks or months or so, I've been uploading actual live trade recordings for you guys. Um, then I decided, you know what, what I'm going to do with those is I'm just going to use those to kind of build and add a little bit more content for my students. So I basically went ahead and I did like, you know, in-depth explanations of like why I got in here, why I got in there, you know, pointing out the specific types of strategies that I'm using because I'll have specific like, you know, strategies that are like one thing, one strategy that you look for multiple things and as long as those multiple things line up, then you're good. So few of the trades that I did lined up with those strategies, I basically went through and highlighted everything for my students and I'm uploading those, the live trade recaps, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the actual live trade recordings, I'm uploading those to the student to the website for my students. So anyone that's taken my video lesson course, you now have <clears throat> excuse me, a few live trade recordings and they range between being like the, you know, typical $500, $1000 profits to ranging to like the above $1500 profit ones. So you guys really get to see I guess you can say everything. So that's what I've basically been doing. I've been getting a lot of good feedback from my students on it. So that's where the live trade recordings are going to be going from now on. But I figure I'm going to still do a few um, trade recaps for you guys here and there. So just for today, I just want to kind of touch base on the trade that I did on Netflix from Friday. I call it a lotto trade and I'm going to kind of explain why. Now, normally, again, as I mentioned in all my tons of my other videos, I usually don't trade on Fridays. If I do, the majority of the time I treat it like a lotto trade. Lotto trades basically mean you're going to win big or you're going to lose it all. Now, for me, I don't really ever lose it all. I always have a plan in place. Now, the reason that it's like this for Fridays is because the options move extremely wild on Fridays, especially if you get a same week expiry. So that allows you to kind of throw out a little bit of a lotto trade there. So I'm going to jump into it. It still uses the same type of strategies and everything. You just kind of like let it go a little bit. You'd be a little less disciplined with it, a little bit more lenient with it. So I initially got into the trade at 631. I tried to get five contracts. It only filled me on one of them. Like it was moving that fast. So a few seconds later, well, one second later, well, not one second, you guys get the point, one minute later, I decided, all right, let me start in with three since I'm far away from that initial price that I wanted. I'm already like 15% away. So I bought one for 57. I bought three for 70. And then we'll come back to the rest. So let's go look at what was happening when I got in. We'll say I got in around 632. Let's customize this a little bit here. So right here is the 632. This is where I started with my little lotto play. And I say, you know what, if we shoot up to 290, I'll get out and I'll take, you know, I bought it for 70 cents. It'll probably go down because it's a Friday and it's a this week expiry. It'll probably go down to about 50 cents, 40 cents. So I won't lose it all, but still, I'm still going to treat it like a lotto. I would have still been able to salvage. You know, I had three contracts, three or four contracts, let's say three or four contracts times like a 15 cent loss. What is that? 45 cents, $45 that I would have lost. Um... So that's that on the, the, the loss side, if you will. So as soon as I got some confirmation here at 634 that, okay, yeah, we're not getting above this line, that's where I went in and I added into my position now. I bought another three right there at 634 for about 69 cents. So nothing too crazy. We could call the average of this like 70 cents just for the sake of it. It'll probably be about like 65 uh, because of this guy here. But either way, you guys still get the point. So that's 634 here, 
And basically, the stock continues going down, 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 down. Now, I myself, in normal trading conditions, would have taken the profit, like, right here, probably. Like, right at the 36, because that would have been a nice, like, 20, 30% profit. Get in, get out real quick, go on with your day, and that's that. But, because it is a Friday, and 20, 30% on something like this wouldn't be too crazy or anything like that exactly. That's why I want to leave it a little bit more. So, I end up getting out of the trade at 644, which is all the way down here. Right here. So, I didn't call the exact bottom. I got in right around here and got out here. You know, I could have called a little bit higher, could have got a little bit bottom, a little bit more of the bottom, but hey, it's not that big of a deal. What? That would have made me an extra like $25, if anything. So, the total profit on the trade was, uh, I don't remember, it's been a few days now. This is like, Almost five days ago. Wow. Yeah, it was about like three, four, five days ago. Um, it was around three hundred dollar profit. If you want to calculate it exactly, like I said, you can come here. We had seven contracts at about, let's just say sixty five each, and then we sold them about one twelve each. So the profit was eighty percent. It was about three hundred and thirty something dollar profit, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, for those of you that want to actually calculate it, you can go ahead. I think the cost of it was like four fifty. And we ended up getting out of it at like 785. If you want to calculate how much, seven times 65 is like 450, and then seven times 112 is like 785. So subtract the two. There's your profit. But that's basically that, guys. Um, obviously, there's a lot more that went into the trade. There was a reason I was looking at Netflix. There's a reason I knew to get in here. There's a reason I knew to get out here. Blah 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 blah. Uh, but like I said, those reasons and everything, I'm putting those. I'm like, you know, all of it is coming out. But for the students of mine. Um, if you've taken the video lesson course, you don't have to have been a mentorship student to have been able to see this. I know the whole idea between the mentorship course and the video lesson course is that you get to actually see me trade live on the mentorship course, but I'm trying to add as much value for my students that are on the video lessons as well. Um, that way they can kind of get the same experience, see me trade live, hear, hear that commentary and whatnot. So that's what will be happening from now on. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it you know, gave you guys a little perspective and whatnot. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys soon.